Hi, in one of the other videos I show how to mix eight different shades. So today I'm going to paint a quick little picture using Prussian blue and sap green. There's a gentleman in an art class that I'm in who works on cars and he's an expert at car colors but he's painting a painting of Scotland and he said that in order to get the blue of the water in Scotland I need to use Prussian blue and sap green. So I'm going to work on that and add some color to the rocks though just for the fun of it. All right, enjoy. Starting with a few little rocks. I am using burnt umber, raw sienna, a little white, and a little yellow ochre. I'll use the burnt umber and a little Prussian blue for the darker I have added a little black to my palette to deepen the, the rocks. Again, I'll wipe my brush on towels. Rocks need to have at least three shades to them. I'm adding a little bit of the Naples yellow and white. After a while, you will get used to painting rocks. They can have just about any shape as long as there's some angles to them. Burnt Sienna. A Dark Shadow. Now I'm going to add the Prussian blue and sap green with white. I want to have it more on a blue side than a green side and light.
I have undertoned the canvas with gray and white just to have a neutral shade. I have two colors on the brush, fresh and blue and white with a mix. Short, shorter strokes are better than long strokes. Do not try to make one stroke come all the way across the page, the, the canvas. Do have a variety of colors on your brush. Now, I, I have watched many of you, you've sent me your pictures for a critique, which I really enjoy, by the way. I like that. Uh, what I notice that a lot of you do is that you carry your colors back and forth and you basically make mud. If you notice, I do not go back over. I'm not constantly going over and over and over and over and over. And I can tell it's you right there that I'm looking at. I know that what you're doing, you are making mud. That's what you're doing. So. I'll show you on my palette what you're doing. You go like this, and you go like this. And you say mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. And it all ends up in one color. It all ends up in one color. And then you wonder why you don't have an exciting ocean. So just put the color on the brush and bring it to the canvas. Bring it to the canvas. You can move your brush around. See? Look, I can bring my, my brush twisted a little bit, but I don't keep going over what I've just done, or I will lose what the ocean is all about. The ocean has so many currents. The currents are going south. Some are going in a riptide. They're going in every which way. So what you're trying to do is just catch the feeling of the water and, and give it rhythm. You cannot get rhythm if you are constantly going over and over and over it. So we want to make sure we don't do that. That's the whole lesson. Okay, I've got some pretty white white in here, but I'm going to, to tone it down a little bit. Now I make an oval where the white is. I come around like this because remember, this rock is an extension of a mountain over here. So it's just sticking up a little bit. So I want to make sure that it's kind of wandering through the valley of that mountain as it comes around. You can see the minute I start going over, if I go over a line again and again, it just it just takes any excitement that I had out of the out of the color. <laughs> 